like I said, I always tell them to like, give me your time and I'll give you my knowledge. My name is Bernice Nelson and I live on Almond Farm at uh, 613 Swamp Road. Since I was a little girl, I always watched my auntie. She's a vet, best uh, a medicine lady. She's half Carolina, and uh, she's the one that teaches me how to make medicine. She told me that when I know um, that it's my time to, to learn, then I know, then I call for her. So it's more Carolina's chanting and uh, but since I was little I'm always been interested. I'm the only one in the family that takes the, the tradition. None of my brother is a farmer, none of my other cousin or, or nobody in the family. Now I have my nephew is the one that's farming on Saipan. So he's uh, and my other you know, cousin, the, all the kids now they're starting doing it. I do plants a lot of medicine, and I even do experiment of uh, oatmeals or med, you know, boil too. But my garden is not to do it for you. My garden is for you to, to learn how to do it. Uh, the farm is to educate and bring back the culture. I have 200 plants here. But right now it's kind of like because of the pandemics, it's dying because I didn't have time to go out, but I got the seeds. So once we have a, a volunteer to do it, then we'll make it more better again. We have uh, Maigulalu, which is very good for eczema. It's called Mother of uh, Medicine. And then the Anmagoso. And then we have uh, Golondrina. We have uh, Guam Daisy where you find it anywhere here in the islands, that have a lot of medicinal use. But they don't know. And even the, the young tip, you could take it and cook it and make soup out of it. The flour, the white flour, you make tea out of it. And it's good for asthma, it's good for diabetic. And it's got a lot, like probably 10 medicinal use. And it's even good for hangover. <laughs> we have a lot, it's all over. Uh, in fact, it's right over there one. Okay. So this is our, our medicine here on the island. And this one here is Ninifug. People will chop it down, but it's got a lot of medicinal use. This one here, the tip one, where it's young one, and you cook it and make vegetable salad. You take this and you could put it on your salad too. Take the petal, it's beautiful with all, even like, you know, you could put it with hibiscus, you could add your hibiscus in salad. You could roses, you could do that to make it really pretty. So. I do a lot of research over in my computer at night when I see some plants that's new, then I do a lot of research on how to get it to plant it here. When I finish, if I have a tour, and after we finish the tour, I get exhausted because I communicate oh, wow. with the plants. So, because the plants got feelings too. So, you know, usually like this one I picked and I said, I'm sorry, but I gotta show so through my mind the reason why we opened this and we have the farm i could start i do heal way before mm -hmm. but i don't have time to heal and do, go out here so i more concentrate in teaching mm -hmm. my garden here is to teach not to heal you you have to heal yourself by learning what medicine is good for you i rather teach them so they'll pass it down to their generation but if I make it myself, like I said, and I die tomorrow, what are you gonna do? Who's gonna teach? Anybody can do it, yeah. You just have to have the hearts and the, the gifts or the, the passion to plant.